you are still watching ways. The International Day of Acceptance is a valuable social entrepreneurial awareness experiment with a heartwarming backstory. Annie Hopkins founded 3E Love to make the world a better place, also creating the international symbol of acceptance, which shows a wheelchair in the shape of a heart. Together, the occasion and symbol communicate the 3E Love ethos of devotion, equality, respect, and understanding to be adopted and appreciated by people of all abilities. I mean, I've, I've always wondered why people do not understand that people that have physical disabilities now are also humans and should be treated equally. So I'm happy that we have an international day to, you know, celebrate something yeah. like this. What are your thoughts, Amalala? Well, I'm a big lover of love. Mm. I love love and um, I mean days like this make me realize that there are actually people out there who also see the good in the world and also you know would make active moves to do something about it so um, I understand that the story is a very heartwarming story mm -hmm. because somebody may have gone through I don't know the backstory <laughs> but sure the point is I mean it I guess days like this should encourage us to do better to be better I mean maybe one day you will do so well that a day will be named after you. What a Molola day. Right. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay. Uh, tell me, what did you find in, for us in the news today? Well, well, well. Um, what I found in the news today is quite an interesting one, and it's an everyday struggle for an average Nigerian. For scarcity. I don't know what price of oil is saying wherever you are right now, but it is really not funny. And you know, for a country that is really rich in oil, I, I really see no reason why there's this scarcity. Okay, first, you know, the NPC, uh, the NNPC rather, have um, decided to be the only suppliers, or rather the only importers of oil, and now independent marketers have to buy from them at a really expensive price. And you know, some of these independent marketers, after buying, some of them hoard it because they want to sell in neighboring countries and make a lot more money. And then some of them don't even get to buy at all because the prices are really high. And by the time they start to sell, they sell at an inflated price. Now, it is one thing to actually even buy at an inflated price. It is another thing to have access to the fuel. Because every day we just keep, is it that we are queuing or there's no fuel at all? And the queues are always so long and really so tiring. So I don't know, it's, it's really frustrating at this point because we are really rich in oil. I don't know why we cannot be refining oil by ourselves. And then you bring it in and then it's still a struggle. I, it's, it's, really, it's really frustrating to be honest when we see situations like this because when things like this happen, it's kind of like a humbling moment for everybody, everybody. to remind you that yeah, in this country, and this country will continue to show you shaggy. <laughs> yeah, because I remember the com one of the conversations we had, um, I think on Tuesday, where Jennifer was discussing, and she was saying that there's good suffering and there's bad yeah, suffering that you need to prepare to suffer. Yeah. But then there's some suffering that you don't even know why you're suffering. Why? Because, like, what is the end game? Why, am I, why do I have to go through this? Why is this happening to me right now? And it's, it's, it's more frustrating to know that it's happening to everybody. Okay. And you find yourself going out and telling someone like, ah, your boss will say something like, um, we're the ones doing ourselves. Mm -hmm. So when something's going <laughs> like, yo, I'm going through it, you're going through it too. How about we're nicer to each other? Yeah. But the well, height is when you even go to buy fuel in the fuel station with a gallon. Okay. You hear them saying, pay 500 naira oh. to buy. I'm like, we are both struggling, so why are you trying to nice. take things yeah. away from me? I don't know. And you know, in Nigeria, we have this suffering and smiling ah. nature. And you know, like I always say, if you even make this well readily available, even if you want to sell it at 240, let us even know that we can drive by the filling station and we can actually get full. Because I don't understand why I have to stay on that very long queue for hours and at the I end of the day, I'm still going to buy it at ridiculous prices. It just doesn't make any sense. But then, oh well. God help us. Um, what did you find for us? Well, today? my story is a feel-good story. <laughs> okay, yes. tell us. So, Chrissy Teigen and John Legend, ah, they yes, they welcomed Yay. a baby girl Yay. um i believe the baby was born on the 13th but they oh. made the announcement yesterday yes, so i remember it makes me feel really good because i had a really long day yesterday and <laughs> <I'm so laughs> <ape. laughs> i know that moment where 
you just um, you open your phone and the first thing you're seeing is a cute picture of two siblings mm, and a new baby, member of the family. Yeah. And I know that with Chrissy Teigen, she had um, they had she, she, they, they had lost a bad. child mm -hmm. two years ago, and it was really heartbreaking to watch that story. And I guess things like this just makes you like reaffirm your faith in God and in there's just hope. life. Like there's hope. Thank yes. you. There's hope, <laughs> and you know. I was angry there, I guess. But yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a nice story. Okay, Congratulations to something to nice. The Congrats to... Exactly, okay, they're, they're, they're not legends. They're not legends. They're not legends, <laughs> but... <laughs> but okay, legends to to them. Well, yeah. Congratulations to them. <laughs> okay, so um, what I found in the news today, census to hold from March 29th to April 6th. Second, hmm. the 2023 National Population Housing Census will hold from March 29 till April 1st, 2023. The chairman of the NPC, um, Nasir Kwara, disclosed this to the State House correspondents on Friday, shortly after an audience with the president, Major General Mohamed Dubari, at the Asolog Villa, Abuja. And he says, according to him, the technological tools to be deployed will be able to code buildings, landmarks, detailing information such as location and mm. landscapes. I mean, this is a good development, if I must say this myself. But I really hope that we have learned our lessons and we were able to keep proper database right. after this population census because it's not just enough to go to houses houses and say you're conducting a census so what happens to the information that you get after the mm -hmm. census are you going to create a proper database can we now can i now come out and say okay with my nin this and this and this is my nin can you draw out my information from that if there's a criminal that we're looking for somewhere do we know how to you know are we getting to that point but then like I said yesterday, I think we're on the right path this time around. <laughs> Hopefully, we're going to get there. As, lo as, long as, we're, as long as we're taking steps in the right direction, we're right. taking steps, we're taking steps. I mean, it's better than being stagnant. So, mm -hmm. well, we'll just, like I said, let's choose to be positive. <laughs> I like switching positivity. Yes, so. Just to be optimistic <laughs> and positive. Hallelujah. I love that. That's it. <laughs> okay, when we come back, we'll continue. See you after the break.